What's up guys, it's your girl Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel and today we are talking about six awesome animal adaptations. Number six. Hi baby. One of my favorite animals that I get to work with is the African bat-eared fox. As you can see, these guys are incredibly cute. And part of what makes them so cute are these huge ears that they have. And these ears actually serve multiple purposes for these foxes. Not only do they allow them to hear predators, but because these guys are small insect eaters, they also allow them to hear tiny insects that live underground. Their ears are also full of blood vessels that shed heat and help the foxes stay cool in the hot and summer. This is also true for another small fox species found in Africa, the fennec fox. Their ears can reach up to six inches in length just like the bat-eared foxes. Number five. All right, let's go check out this guy. Oh, that's a chunker. The African bullfrog is one of the largest species of frogs in Africa. Because Africa is so hot and dry in the summer, these guys can actually shed off layers of dead skin cells that will form like a hard shell around them and allows them to hibernate for over a year. So their metabolism slows down, their body slows down, and they're able to stay underground, hidden, without food for over a year. Ain't that right, Jabba? That's right, Sabrina. <laughs> what a good little frog. I mean, big frog. You're a good big frog. Pretty cool, huh? Number four. Some of you may remember Miss Bella, who was the star of last week's episode. Bella is an Asian small clawed otter. If you missed Bella's episode, I will place a card for it here. It is utterly adorable. Now, otters are known to be great swimmers, but one thing that a lot of people don't know about otters is that they actually stay dry while they swim. Their fur is actually designed to keep them dry, so they have a tight, densely packed coat of fur on the bottom that's close to the skin, and they have longer fur on top that creates an air pocket between the two layers and keeps them completely dry underwater. Number three. These guys actually have a lot of adaptations. So just like the bullfrog, they can slow down their metabolism. So when there is a shortage of food or the environment is not right, they can actually go into hibernation as well for like seven to 10 months and stay completely hidden without food and water and just hibernate that entire time. Scorpions also have a physical adaptation called an exoskeleton. And basically what that means is that scorpions have a hard armor on the outside of their body that helps to protect them. Another physical adaptation that they have is their tail, which scorpions are known for. They've got a stinger on the end and this tail is full of venom. Number two. Okapes are one of the most unique and interesting animals on the planet. They're also called the forest giraffe, and sadly they are the giraffe's only living relative. Okapes are not only unique looking, but they also have a unique form of communication. They actually have a scent gland in their feet that leaves behind a sticky substance and lets one okapi know when another okapi has been in the area. Number one. King snakes like this one are known for having several different types of adaptations, one of which is that they do eat other snakes, hence why they're called a king snake, because they are considered to be the king of snakes. So of course, eating other snakes opens up a whole other realm of food options for them, which increases their chances of survival. 
But aside from that, I'd say perhaps their most important adaptation is that they are immune to venomous snakes. So these guys can be bit by a rattlesnake or a cottonmouth, and not only will they survive it, they can actually consume venomous snakes like rattlesnakes and cottonmouths. So the term king snake is well deserved. Well, I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty cool. So there you have it, six awesome animals with six awesome adaptations. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure that you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below on what videos you would like to see next. I hope you learned something, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you tune in next week. Bye! I like this snake a lot. You're cute. Don't bite me. <laughs> Moles with it. I don't get paid enough for that. Ah!